Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the Sukhoi 27 flanker in the midst of a massive Russian push and we're going to be clashing with a massive NATO airborne force. We're going to see who survives. And I, I think the numbers are going to be quite low <laughs> for the survivors. <laughs> Curious to see if we can be among the survivors of this fight. You can see we got a bunch of MiG 29s back there, flankers, Sukhoi 30s around here somewhere. And on the NATO side, I expect F 15s, F 18s, F 16s, you know, the whole shebang, if you will. And we're over the Sinai map, by the way, looking really good at night, as always. Alright, well, I'm kind of having second thoughts about this. Like, why would I sit in this massive force, go up with these guys, and then eat all the AMRAMs that are going to get shot at them? Let's reduce altitude. I've just turned off the radar and I turned on the electro-optical mode. Um, basically, this is uh, something the flankers are capable of doing, which, you know, it detects thermal signatures and heat signatures over radar signatures. And it's stealthy, because if your radar isn't on, they're not going to get an RWR notification. So I'm going to do that. Lots of guys up high. We're going to reduce altitude and see if we can hit them from below. Keep diving here. Again, look at this city. Looks really good. Okay, some of our guys are hitting the cons up there. So we'll continue to reduce altitude. Hopefully we don't get spotted. Or we can, you know, break the lock or stop the NATO side from seeing us. Unfortunately, the F-15s on the NATO side have a tremendous radar. And if you hear that steady tone, the beep, beep, beep every time you hear that that's uh the rwr of the flanker telling me that a nato radar is hitting me and looking at me essentially so i'm just gonna stay down here and see if uh maybe their radars will stop hitting me my rwr will be quiet then we know we've got a real you know chance to surprise these guys hit them from below or from the side uh as the flanker likes to do we'll flank right uh look at those guys wow Okay, so we are still on target with them. Needle forces should be off in front somewhere. Look at this. Yeah, they're still, signal strength is half, and they're still hitting me. It's an F-15, they're gonna see me. Should have thought of that before I came down here. Still better than being up there with them, but there's no escape from the F-15's radar. That's what it seems like anyway. I'm unable to break any kind of lock with them. They're just staring at me the whole time. So we're going to put the radar back on. I came out of electro-optical mode. We got the radar back up. R77-1 selected, which are hopefully equivalent to the AMRAMs. And we got the uh, radar set to high uh, pulse repetition frequency, which means that targets that are nose uh, onto us, which is hot. We call that hot when the bandit's nose is pointed at you. Uh, if you have it in high PRF, you have a higher probability of seeing that. Here we go, we got this guy right there, look at this. We got a whole cluster of these NATO guys on radar here. Oh, they're jamming. 
Okay, we're gonna have to burn through the jammers. Of course they're jamming. There we go. Got one. Found somebody who's not jamming. Or we have burned through, at least. Oh, wait, I think that was an incorrect target. <laughs> that was a false target by the jammer, actually. <laughs> there we go, got him. Alright, actually, you see they're outside of range, they're 50 kilometers, and I gotta climb, and I promise you there's a TWS AMRAM coming over here right now. And I gotta keep climbing. I'm gonna actually turn away. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna do a turn. There you go, see? Locked. Right on cue, I knew it. eat the first onslaught of AMRAMs that comes pouring out of those NATO guys. A little loop here and avoided the initial lock. They're trying again. Look at that. Oh my god. So many guys are just getting killed up there. And we're now in the fight starting here. Got this guy locked. Fox 3. There we go. Okay, give me the other guy. Got him. Fox 3 as well on this guy. Lost him. Fox 3, I shot that one with no lock. Just lobbed it into the, <laughs> in the general direction of those NATO forces. <laughs> and they got a missile out on me. Look at that. So much death. Oh my god. We're off cold here trying to survive this AMRAM that's very clearly been shot at us. Look at that. Oh my god, so many guys just died. Wow. Okay, let's recommit. Can't let these guys breathe. as well. A lot of our guys are gone. Get the nose on. There we go. Got one here. Fox 3. He's right off the nose. I can see him. There's another guy right there. I'm going to have to push to him. He's outside of my range. Although that first guy um, I wonder if we hit the first guy I shot at. Got him right there. Impact.
Okay, push up on this guy now. Fox 3 here. Wonderful. We lost lock on him almost immediately. Those 77s are really good at finding them on their own though. So we'll just turn away. I think that was actually the last guy. I think we just survived that. I think there's like one MiG-29 left and me. And I only really survived because I like cowered away from the main force. <laughs> I like dove down and survived. And then cowered out of the first leaf. <laughs> so we're still here. Although all the NATO guys are gone. All the Russian guys are gone. There's me and a single MiG-29 left. Alright, I've formed up on this guy. Found him. Headed home. I'm gonna check and see if he fired any missiles though. Uh, or if he also, like me, cowered to survive. <laughs> hey, you know, I do have two kills, so... I had two confirmed that I saw with my own eyes, so... You know... Not a complete coward. <laughs> but let's, let's check this guy's missiles out. Because if he has his missiles, he, if he has all his missiles, they're gonna execute him when he gets back to base, for sure. <laughs> Okay, I see one R-77, two R-77, yeah, okay, he did shoot. He shot one, two, three missiles. Okay. Very good. So I guess he did his part as well. A very costly fight, though. Tremendous, tremendous casualties on both sides. Basically, everybody got wiped out. 